today I will introduce the basic operation of AQ1000 to you. First, power on the AQ1000. What we see on the screen is the measurement interface of AQ1000, and the up part shows the test trees, the bottom part shows the test collision. Connect the optical fiber to be tested. Then click the measurement setup. On the left side of the measurement setup, we can see, except the wavelength setting, all other parameters can be set to auto, which is more suitable for using by beginners who are not familiar with the OTDR. You just need to set the wavelength. If necessary, to manually set the distance range and the puzzle width, the distance range should not be less than 1.5 to 2 times the actual fiber length to the measurements. Now we use the auto as the example. It is recommended to turn on the fiber in use along here because AQ1000 cannot test a fiber set with the signal light. If the alarm is prompted, disconnect the fiber as soon as possible. For autosave, if the customer needs to automatically save the trace to the file after each testing, please select it as on here. Event search. It is suggested to select on. The, inter the interestment will perform an automatic event search operation on the trace after each measurement is completed. After all measurement conditions are finished, click AVG to start testing. After the measurement is completed, the trees, event analysis result, and the event table are displayed on the screen. The event table is made up of three parts. Let's take a look. The first part, it is a summary of uh, all events. The second part is the detail of the current cursor election event, which can choose its price loss return loss, etc. And the third part of the event table is the similar date of the current chase. It can choose the distance, total loss, total return loss, and so on. If there are too many current events, we can enlarge the event table and display it in a full screen, like this. Also, it can be turned off. If you need to focus on the other different events, you can free touch on the screen to modify the event which want to be checked. Like this. You can choose the zoom cursor key to select as cursor mode. It will choose the cursor mode here. Then our buttons can control the cursor to move freely on the trace. Or we can use the multi-touch function on the screen to directly magnify the trace with the finger. Or switch the cursor to zoom mode. In this way, the trace can be scaled by pressing a key. Like this. At the same time, AQ1000 supports map display mode. It means all the events are graphically displayed on the screen. 
it is easy to check the type of the current event. Also, it is very convenient to switch back to the choose display mode with the virtual key. Thank you for your watching.